Quickly on to Tulsa County's new Sheriff Vic Regalado sits down for an exclusive one on one interview following his first day in office. Two works for you reporter Nathan Edwards asked the sheriff about the department's future and also its fractured past. Nathan. Well, Brian, the new sheriff admits change will not be easy. He inherits a department constantly under the microscope, but he says he's up for the challenge. The scandals and heartbreak never ending crumbling the life's work of the past sheriff while setting the stage for a new one. You're talking 26, 27 years of stuff that is built up. I mean, you don't change that overnight. Sheriff Vic Rigolato knows his plate is full, but that's not slowing him down. First building his staff, now tackling the issues. This is not a, a, a sprint, it's a marathon. It's gonna take time. Starting with a new structure for the property room, records and internal affairs, problem spots that got the last regime in trouble. Those are things that are gonna be dealt with almost immediately and they'll start seeing forward progress in those areas. Rigolato believes these are easy fixes. A more daunting task is just down the road at the jail. We've gotta find a compromise between the county and the city. A looming battle awaits over inmate fees county wanting higher rates while the city demands more transparency. We should be able to put to the dollar say this is where this money's going and when those questions have been answered it's incumbent upon again the city and whoever uses that jail to pay a fair price. Rigolato will hire a jail administrator to usher in change one of many moves recommended in a pricey external review. The taxpayers paid for it so Absolutely, I think a large portion of it we will use as a blueprint to move forward in certain areas. Helping pave the way for a new beginning. To say that everything has now been cleaned out and we were now at the point for a completely fresh start, no, I don't think we're there at that point in time, um, but we will be. Well, we spoke about another a number of other topics tonight. To watch the complete interview, we've posted on our website, kjrh.com. Live in downtown Tulsa, Nathan Edwards, two works for you.